Hey guys, in this video we're going to be showing you how to do heels on Boss 4. As with the other videos, you're going to want to be running your future healer build with the BTSU gloves. You're going to keep using the Restorer Hive and the Reinforcer Chem Launcher for this encounter. You will see an overview of heels from the control room so that you can see the entire field. Then there will be a video of healing during the actual encounter. For referencing on Boss 4, everything is oriented as if you were looking at Earthshaker the train. The grass and dirt side of the field is considered left, and the red sand part is considered right. When you come out the door on the bottom, the first thing you are going to want to do is throw your hive so it heals the person on right ads. I typically put my hive here, and this should reach the person who is taking cover for right ads and it can also help the person on right rockets, they can run to it if they need the heals. You will then run to the left side to take cover. I usually cover behind that crate, and you can use your chems to heal left door, the rockets, and the tanks, or whoever needs it. When it's time to go to sandbags, you can meet your team in the middle and drop chems or overcharge and get a hive down. The overcharge is helpful to make sure that everyone has their skills for the next round. Always make sure you have at least four chems when you move back into the aqueduct. You will need to drop chems at everyone's feet to make sure they can stay alive. When you can come out of the aqueduct, go straight to the right hand side, drop your hive, and go back to the cover on the left. You will repeat this sequence as needed and pick up anyone who dies. Next is the video of healing in action on the encounter. You will drop your hive on the right hand side. Make your way to the left and take note of anyone who might need heals on the way to their position. Toss one more. Assassin. And right. Ooh. Oh, that was quick. Shit. You can help left door since this is a common FTC position. If you have your Scorpio, you can help kill the adds, and if you're running a crossbow, you can throw flame grenades at the door. Oh, Broke. That's how it should go. Left door. I did not realize that you could hit the shovel when the doors are still closed. Amazing. Yeah. When your team is ready to go to the sandbags, you can tell everyone to kill their skills so you can overcharge and get all the skills back fresh for the next phase. Kill your skills, I'll do an overcharge. Our armor is shredded. Deal with the division or you'll have to deal with Morisova. Make sure you heal your team every time when you are in the middle. You can either use your hive or your chems, but make sure you have enough for inside the aqueduct. Once you hear the rockets get ready to fire, the cannon will start to spin. You will want to drop chems at your feet. For the first and fourth phase, we stay in the middle, so you will only need two to three. Ready out. After exiting the aqueduct, you will go to the right side and drop your hive again. You can return to the left-hand side and heal the rest of your team as needed.
Okay, cannons down. Sandbags, sandbags. Show your skills and I will overcharge. Once again, when it is time for sandbags, overcharge and heal your team in the middle of the field. When the sirens go off and you move back into the aqueduct, you should be split on the walls for the second and third phase. You will need to drop chems at your side and fire it to the other side. You can do two chems for each side and it should keep everyone alive even if there is mortars. Ready out. Once again, drop your hive on the right hand side of the field and make your way to the left to heal the rest of your team. The third and fourth phase will have green lasers, which will damage health and armor. So be more aware of your team's health during this time. Swing on both. Is that heal still behind you, Chichi? Oh, there we go. Sandbags to the sandbags. Okay. Cannons down. Oh. Same bag, same bags. I don't have an overcharge yet. Start running. Good. During the third phase, again, you will go against the walls, drop chems at your feet, and shoot chems to the opposite side. Two rockets on the ground. The fourth and last phase, you will still drop your hive on the right hand side and heal the rest of your team from the left. Uh, kind of shot that. I have no steps. Watch that medic right there. Broke. Sleeping. Chunga right, sleeping. Chunga left. If you see anyone on the other side of the field that needs healing, you should be able to reach them with your chem launcher. Sleeping. Uh, left door. You have a rocket. Uh, rocket person's on the right, going towards the, uh, the gen. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can feel that. We're done. No more snipers. Automated defenses detected. Caution advised. Last key. I'm gonna go grab my hat. If you have a sniper on your team, after the fourth phase, you're going to want to grab your hive instead of overcharging before you go into the aqueduct. You will do your overcharge afterwards. Sandbags, sandbags, get to the sandbags. Ooh. Move, 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 say this thing. Die, hold on. Go. It's fine, it's fine.
During the fourth phase, you should be back in the middle, and you should only have to drop two chems while the cannon is spinning. As soon as you come out of the aqueduct, drop your hive and get ready for the overcharge. Right, Achilles. Overcharging. You will want to overcharge right before Morzova comes out of the trailer. This will allow your snipers to put an Achilles pulse on her and kill her. Congratulations, Agent. You have finally made it through Iron Horse as a healer. Alright, good stuff.